All right, today we're still looking at linear equations. We're still looking at word problems, and we're going to look at how to use standard form in the setup of some word problems. So what do we need to know? We need to know that we're going to use standard form when we have a problem that relates to different objects. All right, remember that your standard form is AX plus BY equals C. And this means we have our two variables on the same side, and A, B, and C are just numbers. Okay? All right, let's look at number five. Sam ordered two hamburgers and three hot dogs from the concession stand at the baseball game. His bill came to $19.05. If hamburgers cost $5.25 each, write and solve a linear equation to find the cost of each hot dog. All right, so let's call x and y are two variables and we can say that our hamburgers if you can read that and our hot dogs are our y all right so sam orders two hamburgers and three hot dogs so we're going to have 2x plus 3y okay looking at the equation up here ax plus by equals c so we got two hamburgers plus three hot dogs equals the nineteen dollars and five cents that he had to pay All right, so we don't know what each the hamburger and the hot dogs cost, but we do know that the hamburgers cost $5.25 each. And X is our hamburger, so we can substitute $5.25 in for X. Plus 3Y equals 1905. Now, like any equation, if you only have one variable, that means you can solve for that variable. So we are going to solve for y, and in this case, our y is our hot dogs, okay? And it says, write and solve in a linear equation to find the cost of each hot dog. So that's what we're trying to do. All right, so 2 times 525 is 1050 plus three hot dogs that we're still trying to figure out how much that cost. Now we're going to subtract 1050. We're just solving for y. So subtract 1050 from both sides. 3y equals, what is this, 8.55. Divide both sides by 3. y equals Divide that out, you get $2.85. All right, so what does that mean? That means that $2.85 is the cost of one hot dog. So we knew that $5.25 was the cost of a hamburger, and now we know that $2.85 is the cost of a hot dog. All right, the next question says tickets at the school play cost $4 in advance or $5 at the door. So again, we can determine which we choose. We can say X equals the number of tickets in advance. And Y can be the number of tickets at the door. All right, total ticket sales for an evening production is $440. If no tickets, that means zero tickets were sold in advance, write and solve a linear equation to find out how many tickets were sold at the door. All right, so we're going to have AX plus BY equals C again. So we want to know how many tickets are the cost of tickets in advance and the cost of tickets at the door. Okay, so for number one, we're going to say $4 times the number of tickets sold in advance plus $5 times the number of tickets sold at the door. 
and the total that we make off the evening production is $440. Okay, that comes from right there. All right, now it says that no tickets were sold. Okay, no tickets means advance, means your X. So we have no tickets that were sold early. That means all the tickets were sold at the door. So that cancels, divide both sides by five. And that means we sold 88 tickets at the door. All right, so zero tickets in advance, 88 tickets at the door. All right, the next question, Karen's piggy bank has all dimes and quarters. The total value of the money in her piggy bank is $11.40. If Karen has 36 quarters, write and solve a linear equation to find the number of dimes she has. All right, so let's start out by saying, what are our two variables? All right, we're going to use X and Y again. That's pretty familiar to everyone. So we're going to say X can be the number of dimes we have. And let's let Y be the number of quarters we have. All right, so we know that a dime is worth 10 cents. So we can say 10 cents times the number we have plus a quarter is 25 cents. 25 cents times the number of quarters we have equals a total of $11.40. All right, so it says Karen has 36 Quarters. So we know that quarters are our Y value. So in place of Y, we're going to put 36. So we're going to have 10 cents times X plus 25 cents times 36 quarters equals 11.40. All right, so if we do 25 cents times 36, uh, four quarters is a dollar. Four goes into 36 nine times. So we're going to have 10 cents times X plus $9 equals 11.40. Subtract 9 from both sides and 10 cents times X equals 11.40 minus $9 is $2.40. Divide both sides by 10 cents and x equals 24. If you just cancel the zeros there, move the decimal place, 24 dimes. All right, these are easy to check as well. Just do 24 dimes times 10 cents plus 25 quarters times 36 and see if that equals $11.40. All right, here's the last example on standard form. So the Oakville High School Marching Band sold gift wrap to earn money for a band trip. Solid color gift wrap sells for $3.50 per roll and printed gift wrap sells for $5 per roll. The band needs to earn $2,500 for an upcoming competition. If the band sells 325 rolls of printed paper, Write and solve a linear equation to find the number of solid paper they must sell. All right, let's start with our variables. We're going to use X and Y because that's just easy. All right, so we've got solid. Let's use X for our solid color gift wrap. And let's use Y for our printed. 
All right, so to write an equation, solid gift wrap costs $3.50. So $3.50 times X number of rolls of solid gift wrap plus $5 per roll of printed gift wrap needs to equal $2,500 so we can afford to go to our band competition. All right. This says that we have 325 rolls of printed paper. Printed is our Y. So let's put 350X plus 5 times 325 equals $2,500. All right, so 5 times 325, that's going to be, that's going to be $1,625. So all I did was multiply 5 times 325 to see how much that total cost was. I am solving for X, so I need to subtract 1625 from both sides. So I'm going to have 350x equals, after I subtract 1625 from both sides, I get $875 still needed. We have to get that from the solid gift wrap. All right, so $3.50 per um, solid gift wrap equals $875. Divide by $3.50 per pack, and that will give us how many packs or how many rolls we need. 875 divided by $3.50, 250 rolls of solid. Gift wrap. All right, so 250 rolls of solid gift wrap plus the 325 of printed gift wrap will give us the $2,500 we need to go to the band competition.